New photos from police of an elaborate mask. Police in Westmoreland County say a man put this on and made threats that prompted an early dismissal at two high schools. Students at Norwin and Jeanette were sent home early while police were looking for that guy. Megan Schiller has more. She's live now in North Huntington. Megan. Well, Ken, the man that they thought that they were looking for turned out to be a whole lot younger behind the expensive mask he was on when he was being walked out of the police station in handcuffs. I asked him what he had to say about all this. Take a listen. Luke, do you have anything to say? I'm very sorry. For suspect Luke Dell, what started out as an elaborate plan to rob a bank ended in cuffs. A gentleman walked into uh, the local Bob Evans. Uh, a note was passed. In the notes, there were threats to Norman High School and Jeanette High School with bombs and active shooter. The note passed at this Bob Evans restaurant sparked lockdowns at Norwin and Jeanette High Schools. Police and bomb sniffing dogs raced to the schools while police say Dell did this. Got into uh, a black Dodge Charger, I believe the vehicle was. Um, they were able to get a license plate off of the vehicle. Um, it turned out that the license plate was stolen. From another car. Here he is in cuffs in police custody. And here is Dell early Tuesday on surveillance video. Notice a difference? The mask was a very high quality mask. It made him look like he was probably in his late 60s, early 70s, when in fact he was a 35 year old male. Detectives tracked Dell's car to circle, conducted a traffic stop, then searched his car. No weapons or explosives were found. Detectives tell KDKA that's when Dell pulled off this mask. Admitting the school threats were fake and all a big diversion plan. Pull all the resources to one area, and then his intent was to uh, possibly rob a bank. Um, that's what he wanted to do. Um, he never followed through with that intent. Coming up tonight at 6, we have video of that arrest. Plus, we talked with people who were inside Bob Evans. They say they can't believe that that is where this all began. That's coming up at 6, but for now, we're putting live outside the North Huntington Police Department. I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.